Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, Christians in Conflict. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Ephesians 6 verse 12. There is no question that we as Christians are certainly in a terrific struggle with Satan and his demons. The Apostle Paul admonishes us to take on the whole armor of God, that we may be able to successfully defeat the strategies of the devil. One of his obvious but most effective weapon is contention between Christians. You'd be surprised that irrespective of how equipped we are with the weapons of our warfare, yet we spend more time fighting with each other than we do even with the devil. The Apostle Paul stressed the fact that we wrestle or struggle not with flesh and blood, but with an enemy that cannot be seen. This means our problem is not with people, but with Satan. So why then is it that after we are armed with this knowledge, we still fight and struggle with family, with co-workers and other Christians? Throughout the course of our lives, we find that in varying degrees of conflict, raging from a casual disagreement to fits of rage. So what is the answer? To find the answer, we must identify the problem. And the problem lies within two issues. The first is a lack of control over our emotions and actions. Many conflicts could be resolved quickly if we could control our tempers. But when tempers flare, the smallest incident becomes a huge fight. The other issue is a disregard of scriptural teachings. In scripture, we are given instruction on how to resolve conflicts and how we actually respond to it. We gather at church Sunday after Sunday, but can I say to you, your brother is not your enemy. Conflict is a part of life. Even when you have become a Christian, you will find yourself struggling with others. Matthew 22 from 36 to 40 reads, Master, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus said unto them, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and prophets. If we love the Lord with all our hearts, there is no room for strife with others. Loving your neighbor is not conditional to the way your neighbor treats you. Hebrews 12 reminds us to follow peace with all men, which means literally to pursue peace. How might we pursue peace with someone that is rubbing us the wrong way? Well, it means putting yourself aside and going the extra mile to try and win that person. Conflict breeds seeds of bitterness that can destroy a Christian witness and victory in your life. The quicker you resolve the conflict with others, the healthier we are in our walk with God. Matthew 25, 23 to 24 says, Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar, and there remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift in front of the altar. First go and reconcile to them, then come and offer your gift. Let me speak to the worshipers and the praisers. If you are in conflict with a brother or a sister, it is best you go and resolve the issue. And notice, the scripture did not say you have issue with your brother, but your brother has issue with you. You still have to try to resolve that issue before you're able to worship and to give God the praise. And let me just explain to you. You trying to resolve the issue does not mean your brother or sister is going to accept you they might reject you. However, if they reject you, you are now free to go back to the altar and take up your gift and give it unto the Lord. My encouragement to you today, child of God, is that no kingdom that divides against itself cannot stand. We've never heard of the kingdom of darkness warring with each other. But it's sad to know that in the kingdom of God, we go through constant conflicts with each other. But today, let us make it right that we might stand together and be victorious. In Jesus' name. The thought of the day. Loving your neighbor is not conditional to the way your neighbor treats you. God bless you today. In Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Hey, we make a miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness.